What is good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Ma. Hop back again with another video. Um, as you can tell by the title, today we do another chasing video, man. Follow up from the last video. Like I said, uh, top five likes I had about the chasing so far. After about a month of ownership, a little, little, little bit over a month of ownership. Uh, so now we're doing the downsides of, I should say downsides, but the dislikes that I've noticed so far with the Toyota Chaser. This one specifically. Uh, so hop it into straight to it. First dislike I've noticed about the Chaser so far is I didn't know about it until I got to pick up the car. Uh, so when I went to go look at the car initially, the guy had the car back, not backed in, but pulled head into the parking spot. So I had to back out. When I backed out, I heard this. Toyota, what is that? Now, the only reasonable explanation for that sound when you're backing up that I could possibly think of is to let the driver know they're in reverse so they don't hit anything or accidentally floor it in reverse. Now, and vice versa, to let them know they're in reverse and not, they're, and not in drive. Just in case they need to be in reverse and not drive but i don't know that's the really the only reasoning i could see behind that feature um now i read on the forums and the facebook pages that some people were able to disarm that by pulling something behind the gauge cluster but then i have to go the process of removing everything and then finding what i have to dis you know disable and then run the risk of damaging something, some component back there that I can't find because this car was made in Japan. And there's no parts in the US for this car. So, I'm not gonna touch it. I'm just gonna live with it. I already kinda got used to it anyway. About a month of the car driving, you know, daily in the car so far for about a week now. I kinda got used to it already, so it really doesn't bother me. But I know some people, especially like people who came to the, you know, came in the car and notice that they're like what the heck is that so uh i personally don't have an issue with it i just it, it is it came as a dislike it's like bro like if anything you should have like out that beep outside the car that would make a little bit more sense because then you know you let pedestrians or whoever's behind the car know that you back it up but even then that would be kind of annoying too so that would probably be a stronger dislike if i had that outside the car letting everyone know that i was backing up like it's it's a, it's a, a work truck or something so um yeah that was kind of odd to me but like i said I, after i thought about it i was like yeah I, I guess it's a good safety feature to alleviate any potential accidents letting the driver know that you're in in whatever gear you know so you know, I, I guess i'll put into the second thing staying into the interior is well, not the interior but part of the interior is the car being na and auto and it's not even a 1j on top of that now i did not specifically get the turbo version I keep saying this to people oh you should have got the turbo v or oh, you should have got the turbo oh it's gonna be more money if you do the swap and this and that i bought the car because i know what i wanted the goal of the car to be and it is a business move for youtube specifically i want to build up the channel and break into the jdm community and the JDM crowd and everything, and what better way to do that than a Toyota Tracer? Um, now, if I did a Skyline or whatever, yeah, maybe it was a little bit better, but Skyline's a little bit, a little bit more prone to blowing up from my research, so I just went the little bit more reliable route and cost-effective route. So uh, everyone wants Skylines. The Skylines are pretty much skyrocketed in prices right now even for non-turbos they were ridiculous on prices just because it's a skyline it has a name in it and it recently became illegal so everyone and their grandmother wants to get a skyline so i'm trying to go on the other side of the spectrum and get a toyota chaser not a lot of people know about it which is a good thing but slowly people are starting to realize what this car is and the turbos that's why the turbos are skyrocketed in price so Toro V's are about 30, I'll, I'll give about 25K, between 25K and about 40K in that range. 
So you paying and then depending on the condition of it, majority of them are already modded, they already have body kits, they're already crashed, they're already scratched, they're already damaged, um, beat on, and all that. I wanted a clean slate with low mileage that I can run the car as a daily, as a clean daily, reliable daily, no issues until I start dipping into the conversion. You know, you know getting the motor, getting the turbo, and making this car what it's supposed to be from factory. So, um, well actually, the way I want it. Because now I have the, the ability to put what motor I want on it, what turbo kit I want in it, uh, the whole nine. From the wheels, tire setup, to the body kit, to the everything. So, this build is me. It's gonna be built, not bought, but built. So, that was the goal of this car. And I was able to get into this a lot cheaper than if I were to get the turbo version, which everyone wants. So, uh, it is a dislike, but it is a dislike I did to myself because I already knew about it. Now, this car is kind of sluggish, not sluggish, but when you're coming from a 3.7 term, you know, tuned E85 to a stock 2.0, you know, inline six, it's, it's slow. It's, it, it is slow. So, but like I said, it's not like a deal breaker for me. I already know what I was doing, so that's the reason why I did it. But yeah, that's gonna be number two. Hopping into the third thing that I dislike so far about the Chaser is the wait time on parts. Now, going back into my research again, I already knew about this. The car was never made in the US, was never brought to the US, so there's no parts for this car in the US. So, that being said, parts for this car are majority has to come from Japan. And especially for body kits, uh, not so much the wheels, but the body kits, um, suspension, all that. Everything has to be has to come from Japan, and especially the body kits, hood, and all that has to be made per order. Nothing is stocked for these cars. So that's another downside because now I have to wait for the part to be built. I have to wait for them to you know inspect it, make sure everything is not it was made properly, and then have them ship it to the company, and then have the company ship it to me. So it, it's a waiting game with this. It's not going to be like the queue where I was able to buy parts from eBay. And have it here by next by, by the end of the week so uh you patience is gonna be key with this build but trust me when i'm done with it and the vision i have for this car already we are gonna go crazy on it i'm telling you right now subscribe y'all gonna want to see what i do with this car y'all seen it from stock form from bone stock from everything stock nothing was touched at all modifications wise i already did tint I'm just starting off light um but yeah, man, so I mean, you know, the, it, it was already given any JDM car, majority of JDM cars, right hand drive, you're going to deal with wait times, you're going to deal with long deliveries and, you know, waiting on parts to get to your house. So patience is going to be taught during the process of this build. I'll tell you that right now. Now, hopping into the fourth thing that I dislike about Chase so far is the foot brake and not being an actual handbrake. For the parking brake now I want to potentially slide this car I'm not gonna be a professional drifter or anything but the car this car is known for drifting so I want to be able to have fun with the car as well I'm not gonna have too much fun with the foot e-brake so I'm gonna have to bite the bullet spend money and do the conversion when I do the full swap manual swap and everything because going to the manual swap that's gonna get in the way of the clutch pedal when I have you know when I do get through with the manual swap so that's gonna have to get converted regardless and uh, you know again going back to right you know I, I wanted the car to be auto majority of these autos come with this foot brake so I couldn't really bounce around that um, some of them do come with a handbrake but it's kind of hard to find and it wasn't really a deal break if it didn't have it or not because like I said the car is a project the car is well, I but bought the car to build I don't want to just buy a car that was built already and then what you know for content wise content wise at least I get more content out so and now hopping into the last thing I dislike about the chase so far we had to come outside is the exhaust tip bro lack thereof <clears throat> like bro 
you could at least put like a chrome tip or something, man. But damn, you could barely even see it, especially at night. It looks like no, nothing there, and it looks like pointing down and all that. So, no, I gotta go to a muffler shop to see if I could get a freaking, you know, a tip that looks halfway decent. Like I said, I'm nip I'm kind of nitpicking stuff here, but that's not that big of a deal. It's fixable. Everything I said on this video so far is fixable. So, but yeah, man. So there y'all have it. Five dislikes of the total chaser so far after about a month, a little over a month of ownership, and I dated the car for about a week, a little over a week now. And overall, I still love the car. Don't regret any, you know, any decision at all. Got a good deal on the car. Couldn't say no to, so I had to hop on it. And I don't think I was gonna get a deal like this uh, for this condition of the car. So um, yeah, man. If y'all made this far in the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you get notified every time I post a video. We're gonna go crazy on this build. I promise y'all, we are gonna have some fun with this car, some turbo floaters. But we're gonna get the car looking right first. So that's the goal. Um, get the body kit. Get everything I want on the car: wheels, tires, suspension. And you have the car the way I envision it looking right now. Get that done. Then we'll hop into the performance side. The engine swap, transmission swap, e-brake swap, all that. So that being said, thank y'all for watching. My name is Maha. And don't forget, repetition creates precision, y'all. Even though if you're not an expert, you gotta keep going at it. And eventually you get better at it more times you do it let's go